live from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Seattle Mariners taking on the New York Yankees. First pitch coming your way next. Coming up on the first pitch, and starting this one, Carlos Rodon. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and simple. Say, and he's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more and now we check out the Mariners lineup. And Chris, this offense is facing a defense that is well known for kicking the ball around a bit. How aware are you offensively of a bad defensive team? Well, you're not like completely aware because you're really focusing your, on your approach. But I think when you know about a team and how they can be sloppy and as it plays out in a ball game, you're more intent on saying with two strikes, I got to make sure that I put the ball in play. Because even if I don't get a knock, there's a chance they commit an error and it leads to us scoring more runs. Next to switch in at first baseman, Cal Raleigh. smoked out to left for Dugo. Makes the catch in a goal. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now a 2-0 ball game. It's Major League Baseball and it's on the show. Back for more from the Bronx. And taking the ball for Seattle. Logan Gilbert. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today, but when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you needed a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept coming after it with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. Juan Soto in the box now. No balls and a strike. Two down, 
so many on. Got it! Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Yanks held in check. They trail things here, 2-0. Welcome back, and we've got a new arm on the mound to start the second. Luis Heal. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of them right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And that one in the air center field. Judge is under it. And there's a one away. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Here's Dylan Moore. Left field. Verdugo gets under it. Nabs it. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And now for Seattle, Luis Urias. Now this is in the air down the line. He's got it. And that's the third out. Second. Now here's the Yankees cleanup hitter, Alex Verdugo. The pitch. Popped up. Under it. Makes the grab, one down. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Popped up. Lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Rizzo goes six feet, three inches, 240 pounds, and he was a six-round draft pick back in 2007. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. One, two, three, go to the Yankees. They trail it here, two nothing. Back here in New York, new inning getting started. Now at the plate, Sebi Zavala. And Chris, his big strength is defense, but it is interesting. In today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus, but he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. Deal one. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Where Dugo gets under it. Makes the grab. One up, one down. So the batting order turns over. Here's Josh Rojas. Old for one with a fly out to center. That one out to right. And that'll fall for a base hit. Found no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. High fly ball out towards left field. Verdugo going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Cal Raleigh up next for the Mariners. He's already homer here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. So here in the three spot, Chris, a hitter, low average, but high slug. Well, one thing he's going to lean on are the metrics. His exit velocity has been really good. He's just had some bad luck hitting the ball right at people. Swung on, belted. Stent ranges back. Let his face 
fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the plate. I'm sorry, but big league hitters don't miss that pitch. And now it's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners, Luke Rayleigh. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That's back there. And it hits the fence. Rayleigh into second, and he's got a double. Two hits for him in this one, both for extra bait. New pitcher for the Yankees, Ian Hamilton. He's averaging more than one hit allowed for any pitch this season. That's not where you want to be at all. So we'll see how he does here. Stepping in, Mitch Hanker. Spot off foul. to the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Deal two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Deal two. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. You need to go down, he's gonna do yoga mat, okay? He's gonna do yoga mat. Wait. Okay, go down there now. Wait, I'm busy. Okay, he's gonna do, he's gonna turn, he's gonna do yoga mat. At the belt, fine. Let me go. Right through there, got him! He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes. Lays out and takes the play. Great reaction there. The momentum of the dive takes him into foul territory, but comes up and makes the play. Outstanding job to get it out right there. Now the box comes up empty 
be the swing there. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as the stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. I think you want to get a one-way lead, be very aggressive in the secondary. This hitter not a power guy, so you want to make sure that he gets some link on the secondary lead and perhaps score on the gap. Thanks for joining us. Oh, oh. You